What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Brian, GP Rod and Customs, back again. I'm just trying to pick up where we left off from Teacher Tuesday with the magnets. I hope everybody liked that. I hope you got a chance to watch it. If not, go over and check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to try to finish up the trunk building the Camaro. Basically, I'm going to try to get the, all the panels wrapped. You can see i got panels laying out everywhere, different materials. Uh, i got a little bit of ultra leather, which is uh, this orange, some black vinyl, and some black loop carpet. I'm going to try to get these pieces covered, and I'm going to install them in the trunk today. And then I'll have to pull them right back out because there's more stuff to do to the car because the customer keeps adding stuff. So he wants to put a chassis harness in it. So I'm going to get these wrapped, and we'll put them in so everybody can see what it looks like. And then we'll move on from there. So the first thing is the front wall. So this is the wall that actually hides the, the sub-enclosure. As you can see, magnets on it as well. Uh, I'm waiting for another order of magnets to come in so I can put one there. So the sub basically fits behind here and is firing forward. This piece will be covered in ultra leather, so we're going to have a two-tone. You can see the shape that I have. This outer top layer is going to be the orange, and then the insert will be black, and then the floor will be the black carpet with the black insert that I have sitting right over here. So we're going to get started with the ultra leather which is fairly expensive material. It's about $75 a yard. So I got a yard to work with because I didn't need very much. So I'm not covering the whole panel. I guess I can cover most of it though. I have three panels to cover. Well, you know what? Let me see. Let me check this out real quick. Maybe I do have enough to cover the whole panel. Oh yeah, we'll be good. So I'll go ahead and cover the whole panel. That way it just looks better. This material is very soft to the touch. It almost feels like leather. It doesn't quite smell like leather, but it feels like leather. It's just very expensive. Whenever you do these type of panels and you got cutouts like this, you want to make sure you do some kind of rounded, some kind of rounded edge or a beveled edge, because it really helps with wrapping the vinyl around to the back side. That way you get every bit of it. We'll give that a second to tack up. Always remember to let your glue get tacky before you just stick pieces together. Starting to get tacky.
In this video, uh, I know I've had a couple people ask for wanting me to show them how to wrap vinyl around tight corners on panels. So you'll probably see that in this video. So whoever is wanting to see that, I hope you can watch this video when we put it up because there's several tight corners that will have to get wrapped all the way around so you don't see them. And I'll show you the way that I do it. There's probably other people that have their own techniques, but it's kind of a find your own technique style. So it's something you may have to work with. The way I do these corners is I always start right on the corner. I'll take it, pull it straight up and out. Put one thumb down and hold it. Take the others, the other side, stretch it just a little at a time. And every time, pull my thumb over and smash it to the glue until I get further along. And then come back and do the same thing with this side. that the wrinkles out I'll take my knife open it up you can use a regular razor blade too and I'll just just kind of shave it like that pretty much flat no wrinkles looks like it's wrinkled but it's it's pulled too That panel's done, except for the brushes that I'll put in here. That way it hides. That way it kind of hides everything. So now I'm going to wrap the insert. Well, it's not really an insert, but the panel that cup goes over that, which will be in black. So that's those panels. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to some carpet. I'm going to carpet the rear panels and the floor, which I'll have to cut out for the insert that 
covers the amp. So let me get this out of the way and then I'll get the other ones over here and we'll start working on the carpeted pieces. Once I get those carpeted, we'll put that stuff in the trunk and see if there's any kind of gapping issues for my sides. If so, we'll fix it then. Uh, I think we'll be good to go though. So let's Uh, this carpet, I don't really know for secrets on this carpet. I've never really used this kind of carpet for these, this type of paneling. I've used it in, uh, on flat panels. Never had to wrap it around a panel. Don't think it's going to be super easy, but I don't think it's going to be extremely hard either. It's a lot thicker carpet. It does have a backing on it but we wanted to match the carpet in the car. So now I know on the, the four piece in the trunk, it'll be super easy because it's just a flat piece. These pieces will be a little bit more difficult because I try to, I'd like to kind of fold it over on these edges, but I'm not real sure on how that's going to work out. So I guess we'll see. rough on the razor blade but got it covered where it needed to be covered so what we're going to do is we're going to chalk the carpet for the outline of this insert then we'll pull it all off and we'll cut it and it should line up pretty good when we glue it on there All right, so now we're gonna wrap this piece. And the way we're gonna do it is, before I put the carpet on, I'm gonna go ahead and set the insert in its place. That way it makes it a little easier to put the carpet, to line the carpet up. So that's how we're gonna do it. See, it wants to stick to everything. So you want to make sure that it fits your insert good. So when I cut it, I cut it on the inside of the chalk line. And then when you glue it, glue the edge 
next to your insert first. That way it covers any kind of gap because you can work the rest of it out. Only thing I'm doing here is I'm just tucking the carpet threads inside the edge here. I'm just using the back side of my razor blade. Just kind of tuck the threading in here to clean it up. Probably have to do it again when I take the insert out and put it back in. I'll probably do it one more time when it's in the car, the final installation in the car. All right, next step will be to put it in the car. The carpet added a lot of thickness and it makes it a little difficult to get these panels in as they're already difficult to get in to begin with because of the angle you have to put them in. But I'm going to take a little bit off this edge to make it easier to get in. And then I'll come back and try it. And if it fits better, I'll go ahead and wrap it in the ultra leather throw it in there. One more time, and then go from there. So we're gonna try to knock this out. I need another blade. Alright, that's 
one. The tricky part about these panels, the only tricky part, is the very tip, the point, which would be these ends right here. Those are going to be the hardest parts to cover because they are tiny. So I will be using a heat gun to stretch the vinyl a little bit. And then I'm going to hope that I can get it to cover it. So let this glue tack up and then we'll see. That is the easy part. So I'm gonna do the, put some glue on it and I'm gonna do the two corners before I do the hard one. But putting a little heat on vinyl can make a world of difference. It will loosen the vinyl up enough to be able to stretch it really far. But if you stretch it too far, you will get stretch marks on your vinyl and that's something you do not want to happen because it is visible. So I'm gonna heat these other these these two corners up just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. You want to heat from you can heat from either side really. I do a little bit on both sides. You just want to warm the vinyl up. pulled right around it. Now for the hard one. Vinyl is pretty much just going to lay on itself and then we'll cut it at the seam. You can see it's all the way around and it's just right at the tip. But you get good enough glue on there and it's not going to come back off. But putting the heat on it made it that much easier to do. If you did that with no heat, it would probably be almost impossible to do. Probably should have shaved those ends off. No, nope, maybe that's how it went like that. Oh yeah, that's right, it'd be good. Other than a few little minor details, like finishing out around the trunk latch, 
which we're gonna refinish this and then we're gonna cop, uh, cover over the filler neck. The trunk is pretty much done. Like I said, we'll add brushes to these areas right here to where the hinges go in. That way you don't see inside the trunk. But that's the finished, that's the finished product right there. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. And if you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Wherever the bell is, turn the notifications on. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.